What's going on, everybody, and welcome to the Real Word Podcast, a place where real thoughts, real ideas, and real words come to life. I'm your host, Drew, coming from San Diego, California. Thank you for stopping by, tuning in, checking out the channel. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit up those links down below. And now we can get into the episode. It is June 24th, 2020. It is Wednesday, so welcome in, welcome in. I appreciate everybody. I got my coffee. Got some concentrates here, got some wax. So that's what we will be smoking on this morning. Um, One of these I have not even had yet, so it'll be my first time ever having it. And um, this one is from Cresco. It is like uh, Jack Flash uh, Live Sauce. And um, yeah, it sounded pretty good. If it's anything kind of like a Jack Herrera cross which i'm assuming that's what the jack is then it's gonna be a nice like hybrid sativa type thing so let's just open this up and see what we can get into uh just destroyed the box but that's okay because what we really need is this inside yeah we don't really need the box and just get rid of it <clears throat> Ooh, what is this oh my god that smells so good looks really nice has a nice yellow golden oh almost like a sweet hint of citrus sweet almost oh that is really nice I'm excited to try that Again, that's Jack Live, uh, or Jack Flash uh, Live Sauce, my bad. So let's get into this, let's heat up this nail, and we'll get into a couple of topics. Got a couple of topics laid out. Um, make sure to go to at the underscore no world order podcast on Instagram, and check out our Instagram live that uh, Zach and myself did yesterday. We got into a lot of these sexual assault, sexual misconduct, uh, allegations going on all throughout Hollywood and the entertainment world. Everybody from actors to comedians to athletes, WWE superstars, we kind of cover it all. So. I mean, not even all of it, because this is like a never-ending thing. It seems like accusations are coming out left and right from all over. Um, But yeah, we get into that. We break some things down. We see if some of it is kind of maybe targeted. And, you know, some of the timing seems to be a little interesting. So go check out that episode. It went by really, really fast. And, um just a lot of information to kind of uncover and kind of navigate through. It just seems like it, it has been a constant attack. Like this me too movement has definitely had like a resurgence or something going on. Um, because all of a sudden a bunch of, uh, accusations and allegations have been coming forward again with these celebrities and things like that. So let's get into this dab. I haven't cleaned this in a while, so my fault on that, but um, next time I'll definitely get it cleaned up. Cheers, everybody. Again, this is that Jack Flash Live Resin from Cresco. Cheers. Oh. 
Okay. Wow. Ooh, wow, okay. That was a good one. Still a little too hot, so it wasn't as flavorful. <coughs> but that was a good dab. Not too big, but enough to give me a good head change. My eyes are feeling it, that's for sure already. Woo! Um, so let's get into a couple of topics. Like I said, go to the Instagram, check out the IGTV. The audio only should be uploaded uh, here today on this channel. So if you don't want to watch the video and you just want to check the audio, that will be up at 3.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So be on the lookout for that. And speaking of like social media and all this, I know I touched on it a little bit on Monday. <laughs> but um, I'm just done being quiet on social media and I don't really care if it, um, you know, starts to cause problems or, you know, you ha sometimes you have to separate yourself from these people that you kind of look up to and are fans of and support whether it's you know actors comedians podcasters musicians whatever you know what i mean like <clears throat> sometimes you have to like not be connected to these people because you know some like a musician or an actor or something like that athlete even too as well you look up to them, you see them constantly, you're listening to their music all the time, and there's that connection, you know? And um, you start to kind of form your own identity based on the things you kind of surround yourself with. And sometimes you need to take a step back from that and look at things from a bigger picture and maybe see that you're being manipulated by these people or they are only, you know, of course, they're only spreading their message. And I get it. You know, it's their message. It's their platform. It's their beliefs. And, you know, I, I get it. But if all we do is surround ourselves with the same type of people who view the world the, the exact same, it's like, how will we grow as people? How will we ever make the changes needed if we just block people out? And that's all I want to do is like if I see hypocrisy in some of these people, especially those who I support, and that's why I'm saying it's hard because I've been fans of these people and it's like, to see them spread hate and lies and, you know, this false information and this non-inclusiveness, but then claim to be inclusive and claim to be about peace, I just find it troubling that they can also in the same breath preach kind of so much hate. And I don't really see that from a conservative side. Of course it happens. I have seen it but it doesn't happen as often from my understanding from everything that i've seen and i've grown up watching this stuff i used to be so against the right i used to be like i was played man like when i was younger before i could even vote and stuff and you know back 2007 and you know when obama was campaigning <clears throat> it's like i was all for it like, I was all for that, and I was super anti-Bush, and you know what I mean? Like, I was really, because I, I thought that there was this, you know, connection with Bush and 9-11, and, you know, I'm sure there is that connection. There has to be a connection, but now I can kind of see that, you know, we are played on both sides. Um... 
So it's just like... I don't know, man. It's just frustrating because, yeah, some of these people who I feel like are, should be, like, really well-educated and, you know, I don't know. To see these people just spouting off hate and lies is just, it, I can't stand for it anymore. So it's like, I like your music or I like the you know shows you're in or whatever but i still gotta kind of call you out on this stuff and i'm done being quiet and that includes for friends for family for everything and you know it's gonna cause some problems it's gonna cause some you know waves and ripples in these relationships and things like that and i'm okay with that Honestly, as long as I know I'm, you know, fighting for the truth and for what's kind of real, then um, so be it. That That's the price that we have to take sometimes. And um, <clears throat> like I've said before, I'm not perfect either. I have my own issues. I'm working through those issues. I have things in place that I, you know, I go to therapy. I have this, you know, there's certain things that I have, but I'm not perfect. And it's like, I've said some dumb shit in my life. I've done some dumb things in my life. Like, there's no way I'm perfect. But it's time to start calling out kind of some of the hypocrisy in some of these people who, you know, again, a lot of it to me is just really frustrating because we've been hearing this Trump is a racist for how long now? And, um, yeah, he said some, you know, questionable things in the past. I'd still have to look up <clears throat> and see what is taken out of context or what, you know what I mean? But, Yes, everybody has said some dumb things in their past. Like, when do we hold people accountable? When do we not hold people accountable? When do we cancel people? When do we not cancel people? Um, but people refuse to kind of address that Joe Biden is pictured with this KKK chapter leader. And how the Democratic Party kind of funded and found the KKK. And how the Democratic Party was on the wrong side of freeing the slaves. Um, how the Democratic Party have implemented a lot of these policies to kind of keep us reliant on the government. They want more taxes. They want to keep us <clears throat> under that control and i'm not saying the right doesn't either it just seems like they want it to a less extent and again i'm not okay with that either any system that you know forcibly takes my money and redirects it how they feel they want and we have no real say in where that money's going or how it's being used or when or anything like that I'm not okay with it. And that includes the whole system. So that's just, uh, that's my thoughts. It's like, it just makes me laugh when people, when I point something out factually based and then all of a sudden I get name, like these names called at me and like just, people assume so much just based off of one little interaction. And I, I just find it funny because I am a very complicated person. Like I've stated in the last episode, my beliefs are kind of all over the place and um, you can't just pin me down to one side or one party or anything like that. And again, I've stated it so many times. I do not support the two party system. I don't think anybody should be running the country like that and i know the presidency is kind of just an illusion there's the house and the senate 
and Congress and, you know, all of that in place as well. But the illusion of a president and all of that, I think just we need to restructure kind of the whole thing. And that's where I really, truly line up and believe. But people don't, uh, you know, take the time to really listen and uh, maybe do some research before just attacking and name calling because it's like, uh, I was just... uh, having this interaction with this Nash who's a musician this fan account because I made a comment because he says something like oh something about he loves blocking Trump supporters and he can't even fucking uh, use his name properly like he has to censor Trump's name like what are we doing like are you serious what a joke man So I made something like, oh, you love blocking people. That's real inclusive. Like, you know, how do we grow? Like, just kind of everything I just stated. And then this one fan account from Italy um, responded. And we just had this big interaction. And they were just really ignorant. And um, I asked for facts. And they said they were too lazy. And I was like, is it too lazy or no proof? and um just said they didn't have time to argue and then everything i just kept pointing out it was just no response to the facts you know and then just name calling and then eventually blocked and it's like so typical man it's really just so typical it's like all i want to do is point out the facts point out how you're being a hypocrite how you're not directing things in a proper way it's like the democratic party stole the election from bernie sanders sanders twice now and you support that party it's like i don't support bernie sanders or anything he really stands for but he should have been the one who won against hillary He should be the one that's in place of Biden right now. But they blocked him, paid him up, did whatever they had to do to kind of not let that happen. And this is the party you support along with them having these policies that keep us reliant on the government who want, you know. Let's get into it. The um, Planned Parenthood, the founder of that was a racist and wanted to implement the the Planned Parenthood for abortions in black neighborhoods to exterminate the black race. And these are democratic policies that, you know, are still in place and supported by the Democrats. So that's why when I say a lot of these policies from the reason like why we are in the position we're in is from the left is because when you look at these things, a lot of it comes from the left. And a lot of the left still supports these policies. And I'm just learning all this as well. There's still so much to learn. It's it's really crazy. There's just so much to learn. I just feel like they keep the truth from you in school. They don't they only want you to like memorize things. They don't want you to like actually learn. <clears throat> and how can like There's so much history out there. There's so much to learn. It's like the school structure is just ridiculous and makes no sense. And when you when you really look at the school system and the structure, it feels like it's more for just control and um, to learn how to kind of have maybe structure or how to listen, like listen to a bell, listen to your authority teachers, listen to stay in boundaries, stay in enclosed in, in these spaces, click up like, you know, there's all these other lessons that I feel that you learn that aren't actually from curriculum because curriculum, you're not <clears throat> retaining that information at that young. Honestly, it's just a memorization thing at that point. It's just who can memorize the most information you need to learn when you're a little bit older for sure when you are interested in it and when it can kind of affect you you need to learn before it kind of 
can affect you but you know like for me now i am so much more interested in history and learning about the past and the true history and the true past though you know <clears throat> not the stuff we were you know not the curriculum that we have been given from the rockefellers or what you know what i mean like just real true information that's out there independent knowledge and just navigating through information and finding out the truth for yourself and that's uh that's what i'm kind of all about right now <clears throat> um let's get into this other topic real quick um so a few days ago or whatever I wanted to mention it, but I didn't. So this Bubba Wallace NASCAR noose thing, um, I, I wanted to talk about it, but I kind of had a feeling some more information was going to come out and it was kind of going to be like a Jesse Smollett thing um, where it was kind of a hoax or pre-planted or something like that. So... <clears throat> I honestly was just waiting to see what all the information was that came out. And um, from our understanding now, the FBI determined that this was all just kind of a misunderstanding and it was a garage pull down and had been there since last year, 2019 or something like that. So way before they even knew he was going to be at that garage and um, this guy Bubba Wallace went on CNN with Dom, Don Lemon last night and still insisted that it was a noose and he has evidence that it was a noose and all this stuff and um, this just seems like a Jesse Smollett thing all over again it's really interesting <clears throat> um, it's just really interesting they almost look similar to you know what I mean and uh I saw a side by side of both of them they they had similar glasses on similar facial hair similar skin tone they just looked alike like I'm not saying oh all black people look the same like I'm not saying that I saw a side by side where they look very similar I was like oh that's interesting like not saying they're same people not nothing like that I'm just saying oh they just have a resemblance um, and it's just interesting because NASCAR did come out initially really fast and say, you know, they've been very vocal getting rid of the Confederate flag. And then they came out really fast with, uh, when the noose was found and, um, made a statement and then, you know, they made a statement again saying that, you know, it wasn't what it was based on FBI investigation, based on an FBI investigation. So that's uh, really interesting. Um, there's another kind of interesting connection with all of this. Um, this lady, Cynthia Hallenbeck, I believe that's her name. <clears throat> she was just named an independent director to Medallion Financial who is the owner of the Richard Petty Motorsports, which is the team that Bubba rides for. And the interesting thing about this is Cynthia Hallenbeck also serves as a board director for the Clinton Health Initiative. So it's just interesting that there's kind of a left Democratic Hillary Clinton connection to all of this potentially. Um, could be nothing, could be something worth noting. I think I was kind of given this information from a buddy online. He sent it my way. He said it could be something interesting to talk about. And, um, it is, <clears throat> it is some very interesting information and, um, could be something to look into further. I couldn't really do a deep dive this morning on it but there is kind of an interesting connection with the whole thing 
and uh, maybe there's kind of some underlying agenda, which seems like there is at the moment, just with everything going on, um, just all of this division and hate and race and all of this stuff going on. It just seems like there's kind of some hidden agenda that we are not aware of, but when you start, you know, looking at the bigger picture, maybe you can connect the dots. I don't know. I don't know, but yeah, that's why I kind of was staying quiet initially on that whole incident. I did really want to talk about it because I was like, oh man, this is, this is terrible, but I didn't want to go there because I was like, I have a feeling some more information is going to come out and I should have said that I really should have because it would have been like, man, oh, you said that. Um, but I honestly was thinking it and that's why I didn't even mention it because I was just waiting to kind of see how it played out. I really did have a feeling that it wasn't going to be this noose thing or this hate crime thing that, you know, they were trying to make it out to be. Um, let's move on to this. So I did touch on it, uh, yesterday or Monday, uh, baseball is back, um, officially now all parties have agreed on terms for a 60 game regular season. Um, players are starting to report to teams. And uh, getting going to be getting ready for spring training, which is going to be starting on July 1st. And the uh, full season should be starting on the 23rd and 24th of July. And uh, from my understanding, they have 66 days to play 60 games. Oh, that's interesting. There's a 666 in there. Um just kind of realized that as I was reading it. Uh, so that's interesting. Um, there is going to be a universal designated hitter, and there's still talks of extending the playoffs. I'm excited for the Padres. I'm, I'm excited for baseball. This should be a really interesting season, especially with the designated hitter like I mentioned in a previous video i feel once they implement this test it out for this season we're never going back to how it was um but we'll see but it looks like baseball is back and we will see kind of how it plays out what happens i don't even know if they're um just staying in florida i don't know what where they're playing i didn't look into that all I know is that they have agreed they're back. They're going to be playing um, 60 games. And uh, yeah, man, it should be it should be exciting. I'm I'm really looking forward to it. Finally, some sort of sport to kind of come back that isn't fighting you know, like UFC is cool and all, but it's like, man, there's just so much fighting out there. Um, you kind of need something else to balance it. You know, I love UFC. I love fights, but you got to have something to balance that. And baseball, I feel, is kind of that perfect balance where it can be exciting, can be a little slow. Um, and especially with our announcers. They're just the best, and they make it fun. From the radio broadcast to the TV broadcast, uh, we have some really strong uh, announcers and commentators. So I'm looking forward to baseball coming back. I'm excited for it. And yeah, let, let's just uh, see how this season, this shortened season, kind of plays out. And um, if any covid stuff starts to get in the way or if a second wave starts to happen and has to shut it down um i guess we'll just see what happens but as of now there's an agreement and uh players are starting to report to teams spring training 
July 1st, and then the 23rd and 24th, the season will start as of now. So that's what's going on there. I'm excited about it. Oh, let's um <clears throat> let's see what we got here. I do want to get into another little dab. Um but man, I had trouble opening this container. Not this time though, man. That is strange. So this is some King's Garden. Ooh, the all-seeing eye. Why do these cannabis companies all have to use it? I don't understand. <clears throat> um, What was this one? King's Batter, I think it was. King's Cake, sorry. King's Cake from King's Garden. Uh, let me show you what this one looks like a little bit there. Ooh, that one's nice. A little sweet, almost like a OG as well, mixed in with it. I like it. <clears throat> this isn't my first dab of this stuff. I did my first one was actually last night, and uh, it's actually pretty good. <clears throat> Damn, throat is dry. <clears throat> throat is dry <clears throat> man <clears throat> killing me right now <clears throat> probably not a good idea to smoke right now but you know what we're still gonna do it man something's up with my throat <clears throat> um, I got a couple topics to get into, but, um, man, I really need to start working out again. I need to start going on runs. I need to start working out, doing some boxing stuff and Muay Thai stuff again and wrestling and, oh, I miss it so much. I go through waves, but it's just me being lazy and not, uh, being disciplined and those are things I really need to work on. I need to get back to taking care of myself and getting my health back in order. Um, I had a good therapy appointment uh, on Monday it was. And um, yeah, it was a good appointment. But I'm excited for our next appointment. I'm taking this, um, like, 195-question personality test. So I think that'll be interesting. We're going to be able to kind of do a little bit more deep dive into who I am. I'll be able to kind of know myself a little bit better. My therapist will be able to know me a little bit better. And maybe it'll be able to help speed things along a little bit um as far as getting the help i need and what we need to focus on because i know there's a lot of underlying stuff that i haven't really addressed so some of these questions i'm sure will be able to address some of these issues that i've had and um yeah i'm excited i'm nervous about it. it's gonna be in a couple of weeks but uh I'm excited but nervous about it, that's for sure. But I think it's important. I think it's going to be a really good thing to finally be able to know myself a little bit better. Well, a lot better, I would assume. Um, he was saying that uh, it gives you questions that, like, would other people would know you. You know what I mean? Like, it's really hard to explain, but it, he was saying it gets into things where it's like, you didn't even know this about yourself, so. Let's get into this dab. Cheers.
Alright. So yeah, that's uh, in a couple of weeks. I'm sure I'll let you know what's up with that when uh, when it happens and what the results are or whatever. Um, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Um, it'll be good to know, though. I'm excited. I'm nervous about it. <coughs> um, oh, man. <coughs> that was a good one. That was King's Cake from uh, King's Garden. I don't think that one's no sativa um hybrid. Ooh, um so what else? Just a couple quick little stories. Um Let's do this one, and then we'll go with that one. So, about a week ago, I think, I touched on North Korea was planning on sending military to the south <coughs> to create some pressure. I didn't know why th they were doing this initially, and I read something this morning that I guess the south sent, like, a bunch of balloons filled with uh, anti-North propaganda uh pamphlets and stuff in these balloons and sent them to the north and um that's kind of why the north started or was threatening to start with military pressure but from what it sounds like all of a sudden the pressure was uh released and they they didn't end up advancing or not advancing anymore or retreat, whatever it was. Um, and there's no explanation for why the sudden change. So that it sounds like a good thing though. I mean, any war or conflict, like let's do our best to try and not have it happen in any country. You know what I mean? Like let's not have conflict. Let's not have war. So that seems like a good thing. Whatever the reason is, who knows? Um, but I just thought that was interesting and I thought I should kind of, uh, you know, bring that story back around because I did see something this morning on it. And uh, yeah, I just thought it could be important and, you know, might as well bring it back up since I did mention it before, and this is a little bit more details, not much more details than what I initially talked about a week or so ago about it, because there just wasn't really much information. And now I know that there was like anti-propaganda stuff being sent from the South to the North, and um, that's kind of initially why there was the threats of military from the north going to the south, but sounds like it all is kind of settled and, you know, sounds like everything's good now. We'll see what happens. There's seems to always be something going on with North Korea every few months, six months or so. It just seems like something's happening. Uh, so we'll see. We shall see. Um... <clears throat> Let's just bring it back, uh, not real local, but back to Southern California. Um, Disneyland is set to reopen, still with the improvement from the government, um, but they're set to go on July 17th with limited capacity, and you would like have to make reservations to go so they don't have uh, too many people. So that's kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, sounds like... Disneyland has been reaching out to uh, a lot of their staff to come back and um, get things going again. So that it sounds like it's a step in a positive direction. We'll see. I fear that they're going to start opening these things, letting things get back to normal, and then a second wave is going to hit, and then we're going to be back on lockdown there's still going to be all this unrest from, you know, the 
police brutality and things like that. And, um, it could cause some real problems. It really could. And, uh, that is just something I don't want, man. I just, we need to come together. We need to be peaceful. And, uh, man, let's get into this. I was watching V for Vendetta last night. And I've seen it before, maybe once or twice. Um, but this time it really hit differently, man. It's just astonishing how similar the stuff going on in that movie is to what's happening today. Dude, like, it's like, was that filmed in 2005 or is that last night? Like, oh my God. Some of the stuff that's said, some of the stuff that's done is just like, this is today. And, um... I highly recommend watching that movie. Even if you've seen it before, go watch it again. It's dealing with the virus. It's dealing with government manipulation. It's dealing with quarantines. It's dealing with lockdowns. It's dealing with curfews, riots, civil wars. Um, bro, I was like, some of the... Just some of the dialogue in that movie. I was like, what? Like I said, was it filmed back then or was it filmed just yesterday? Honestly, that's how important I feel that movie is. And yeah, it makes me understand <clears throat> some of the... Uh, destruction a little bit better and some of the violence a little bit better I don't condone the violence I don't no I don't condone stealing I don't condone any of that stuff um, but watching this movie can kind of put you in that mindset of understanding okay just yeah these people have done us wrong and they <clears throat> In the movie, this is what they're doing. You know, these people have done us wrong, so we have to kill them for real justice. So it's like, I understand that mindset. And the people... At the end, man, you just see the people coming together and how... How many more people there are. How many more of us there are than there are of them. You know what I mean? So that's what I've always been saying. If we come together as people, we can enact real change. And I, in my opinion, it doesn't have to be destruction based. Like we don't have to destroy a building or destroy these statues or these monuments or whatever to make that change. We just have to come together with the real plan get together on the streets and go whatever the plan is it, do it you know but it just seems like everybody's all over the place and nobody really wants or nobody knows what to really do it seems like nobody's really after the real true justice like i've i've been saying i want real justice i want whoever is in on this bullshit of George Floyd and the uh, Derek Chauvin, the how it doesn't look like it's the same officer. Dude, something was pointed out to me. Like, was George Floyd bald or did he have hair? Because there's been two different videos, one of him bald, one with him hair. I don't know what's going on, man. Like, that's the kind of justice I want. It's like, why are we being manipulated? Why are we being played? What What's really going on? And, um... It just seems like people are focused on the not, you know, this, not that I'm saying is not real justice, but there's a bigger picture of justice that needs to be going on, in my opinion. It's like, yes, police brutality, race stuff, it, it exists for sure, but there's a bigger issue where we're all being played and we're all being manipulated and... 
that's the stuff that I want to expose and get, you know, out there and shed a light on because, oh, I don't know. It, it's just, it's all just crazy right now. It really is. And it like, it sounds like people are down for a civil war. It really sounds like it. And that's um really interesting. So would you be ready? Who would you go against? Would you go against your friend? Would you go against your family? Or do you want to come together as people and not let that happen? What, what do you want? What do you want to do? Because me, I just want peace, man. And uh, like I've always said, I don't agree with the two-party system. I think it needs restructured. I believe in true freedom for everybody. I think we all matter, you know? And I saw a sign this morning on Instagram, you know, from a protest or whatever. It says, if all lives matter, why aren't you mad? All lives matter. And um, that includes all races. So it's like any injustice from... From any race, animal, anything, all lives matter. So it's like, be mad at all of it, not just one specific thing. And that's what bugs me. I just, we need to be inclusive. We need to stop creating this segregation between people. And really start looking at us as people. All of us is just people, you know? But saying that, I guess, is a white privilege thing to say. Even though it seems very inclusive and wanting the best for all. It's a twisted world we live in. It's a twisted, crazy world we live in right now. Just expressing your mind. Expressing your thoughts. Having an opposing view. Pointing out facts. <clears throat> gets people so upset, so angry. And uh, it's pretty, pretty ridiculous, honestly. It really is. It makes me upset that uh, people can't accept facts or blindly ignore them or choose to look the other way. I don't know what it is. But I'm open to conversation. I always have been. Um, you know, I am stubborn. I, I, but my views have changed. Like, obviously. Views change. Things change over time. So it's like, have that conversation with me. Don't block me out. If you want me to understand, have that conversation. We need to be more inclusive. We can't just shut people out just because you disagree with them or they have opposing views. And I've been on that side too. I get really frustrated with some people who I really disagree with. Some on the right, some on the left. A lot of it has to do with on the left. I'm not going to lie. But there's been people on the right that I just get really frustrated. I've gone and unfollowed. I won't go to the point of blocking because that's just ridiculous. If you don't want to see what I have to say, just unfollow me. You know what I mean? But if I follow you and I still see some bullshit you're posting, I'm going to, you know, call you out on it now. So maybe you have to block me. I don't I don't know. But don't say you're inclusive. Don't say you're about peace and all this stuff. And uh, then go spouting off hate, you know, just just can't have that. It's not that's not what uh, this should be about. It should be about peace, love coming together. And that's, you know, I don't know. Maybe that's too radical for people. I don't know. But I think that is, uh, you know, that's all. I 
think that is going to do it for today. So I hope you enjoyed that episode. Um, I will see you on Friday morning. I appreciate everybody for stopping by, tuning in, checking out the channel. Again, let's have the discussion. Let's uh, open up that dialogue. If you disagree with anything I say, let, let's talk facts and let's get down to uh, let's get down to it. You know, I'm open to it. <clears throat> I really don't like having these arguments on Twitter. It's kind of ridiculous because it's just limited character space. And it's like, I would rather have it kind of be in the open public forum. But if you want to have a, you know, private conversation, by all means, direct message me as well. I don't really care. Um, let's just open that dialogue and have a discussion. And let's not uh, spread hate, lies, and cause this division anymore. But yeah, appreciate everybody. I will see you on Friday. Until next time, peace.